Hello everybody, it's I, Brian Tuffy. Today I'm here to review Unbroken, directed by Angelina Jolene, starring Jack O'Connell, Garrett Hedlund, Dom Hall Gleason, Dandy from American Horror Story, Jai Corney, uh, Miyavi, so many people in this movie. This is Angelina Jolie's second directorial effort. She did direct some movie that I don't even know, but I know this is her second film. This is probably her first major directorial release. I don't know. So if you don't know what this movie's about, this movie's about the life of Louis Samperlini. He was an Olympic athlete turned war hero. Then he's basically kidnapped and is in a POW camp for a long period of time. This is a very inspirational story, as the trailers make it look to be. This movie looked great from the trailers. I was really, really excited for this movie because it looked very good. I believed it was going to get a lot of Oscar nominations. I have not read the book. My friend read the book, and he loved the book. I like good war movies. I like good movies about inspirational people, and Louis Zamperini was definitely someone very inspirational. The movie itself, it isn't great, but it's not bad either. I thought the movie was all right. It had its flaws, but I don't think it deserves a, like a 49% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's a little low. Just like The Judge, it doesn't deserve a low rating on Rotten Tomatoes. That's a little ridiculous, in my opinion. First of all, Jack O'Connell is fantastic as Louis Zamperini. I honestly was adored by his performance. This guy is definitely going to be more known in America because he's an Irish actor, so I believe he's going to be more known in this country. I don't think he's going to get an Oscar nomination. This guy will definitely get some awards in the future, but not for this movie. But I thought he did a great job in this movie. Dom Hall Gleason, Garrett Hedlund, and Dandy from American Horror Story were all really, really good. Even Jai Corney. Jai Corney was also good for the small period of time he was in the movie, and I'm not just saying that because he was only in the movie for a small period of time. I thought he did a really good job. The guy who runs the Japanese camp, wow, this guy did a really, really good job. The acting is pretty solid. There's not one performance that I was like, yeah, that's fake, that's bad, that's overdoing it. All the performances were really good. The film was shot beautifully. This is a beautiful looking movie. Roger Deakins did the cinematography for this movie, and he is probably the best cinematographer in Hollywood right now. He did so many great movies. He did last year's Prisoners. Prisoners was the best looking film of last year, in my opinion. I wouldn't be surprised if this film got nominated for best cinematography. The Coen brothers wrote the script, two halves of the script. The script was all right. There was some dialogue that I was not a fan of. Now, let's get to Angelina Jolie's direction. I thought her direction was fine. She directed the film very well. It's just that once they get to the camp, it was just trying to push the emotion in your face. It was like this, yes, you must cry to this. You must feel bad. Don't get me wrong. I feel bad for what happened to the guy. What happened to Louis Zamberine was terrible. What he went through was awful. He had a fine childhood. He was an Olympic athlete. He won gold medals, I believe. Then he turned into a war hero. Then he crashed. He was on a raft for about 45 days. I believe it was like, it was something between 40 and 45. It was crazy. I felt so bad for the guy. And then when he got to the camp, he was in the camp for about, I don't know, a few years. And it's, it's, it's terrible. It's really, it's really sad. But I just felt they kept trying to rub it in your face. And that was a big problem of mine with the movie. And also, I thought the movie was a little too long. I think it could have been cut down at least 10 minutes. It's a good movie. Don't get me wrong. I was engaged. I was wondering what was going to happen. Obviously, I knew the guy was going to live because he made it out. And uh, rest in peace to him. He died earlier this year. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to a wonderful, brave human being. I just felt that some of the emotion was a little too rough. It's really hard to publicly say how I feel about the movie. I don't want to offend anyone. That's the day. I did not hate the movie. I didn't love it. Did I want to love it? Yes! It looked great from the trailers! I don't know if Angelina Jolie was the right person to direct this. I know she was very passionate about this story. I know she really respected the guy and his story. But maybe if the Coen brothers directed this movie, or maybe, I don't know, someone else directed the movie. Look, Angelina Jolie has a bright future ahead of her as a director. I just feel like she wasn't the best director for this, but I still think it was a very well-directed movie. So overall, I liked Unbroken. I didn't love it. It's definitely a disappointment because I really wanted to love it, but I didn't hate the movie. It's a decent movie, but if you're a war lover, if you love stories like this, and if you're very inspired by Louis Zamperini, you definitely should go see this movie. This film gets a B-. Like I said, it's not a terrible movie. It's just an alright movie. But it's definitely a movie that film lovers should see, especially people who are very fascinated by war films, even though this isn't a war movie where there's action, it's related to a great war hero. So guys, if you've seen Unbroken, please tell me what you thought of it down below. Do you really think Angelina Jolie has talent as a director? Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this review, and I'll see you guys soon.